Hello everyone, this is Robbie and this is my video about the monohybrid, monohybrid cross topic in science. I'll be quick, so let's just start right now. So here we have the symbols at the right and their colors. So here we have red and it symbolizes, it's symbolized by X. The X is big because it's meant to represent red as a dominant, a dominant allele. Here we have blue which is symbolized by X and the X is small because it's meant to symbolize blue as a recessive allele or a non-dominant allele and here we have here the homozygous red which is just which is just red two reds mixed together here we have the heterozygous red and in the heterozygous red we have here the big letter X and the small letter X. And as you may know, the small letter X is blue. So since red is a dominant allele and blue is a recessive allele, the red takes over the blue and becomes another red. And then here we have lastly, blue, which is just two X's mixed together. Since there's no, no dominant, nothing different, it stays the same. And here we have here, the here we have the Punnett square so here we have X going down and this other X going across so when they meet they mix together and we get this two big X's and next we have here the big X going down and the small X going across and when they meet they mix and here we have small the big x and the small x which is the heterozygous red and here we also have the homozygous red and again on here when the x when the small x and x meet the big x will come first because it's a dominant allele and the small x goes last because it's recessive or non-dominant and here we have when here we have two small x's when the big e when small x and other small x meet. So now we find out our phenotypic ratio. So out of all the squares, out of all the four squares, um, let me make something clear first. So as long as the symbol is big X, it's still going to represent red. So if it has small x but starts with big X that will be red and out of all the boxes here out of all four boxes three of those boxes are filled with red alleles and only one are filled with blue so if we take um, with if we take both of them our phenotypic ratio is three to one sorry about that that's supposed to be one And then, now we find our genotypic ratio. Genotypic ratio. Our genotypic ratio is found by counting how many alleles there are, but how many different alleles there are. But now we take into account the small excess too. So here we have one pair of big excess which is the homozygous red we have one then for the heterozygous red we have one and two so we have two of them and for the blue which has the recessive x which is recessive which is non-dominant we have one so we have one here so, our genotypic ratio, we count it like this, going down. So, we have one homozygous red, two heterozygous red, 
and one recessive blue. So that is our genotypic ratio. And that is all. Thank you for watching. I hope you understood. And if there are ever any other questions, please just ask me or Sir MJ.